Hello, hello everyone and welcome back. If you're just joining this channel, I'd like to say thanks for joining. Don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe as well. If you're a returning subscriber, I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm your favorite medical microbiologist, Gwendolyn Halley, and stay tuned for more. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about prevention and treatment of pile, also known as hemorrhoids. There are many people around the world who are experiencing pile or who have experienced it in the past. So what is pile or what is hemorrhoid or how is it caused? This is when the veins in the anus or rectum get enlarged or swollen. And this could occur inside the anus or outside the anus. When it's inside the anus, it's not painful, but it's a lot of bleeding. But when it occurs outside the anus, it actually causes pain and discomfort. There's a lot of itching around the anus. And also, there's bleeding. And, and in some cases, you have the anus of the human being come out of the body. It just bulges out. And this makes it very difficult for an individual to sit down because there's a lot of pain when they sit down or they find it very difficult lying on their back. So what can cause hemorrhoid or pile? Pregnancy. Remember, the baby growing in the woman, in the, in the woman's womb, actually enlarges and enlarges and could also affect the position of uh, the anus or it could actually cause power. Also, if you're constantly constipated, you don't drink water very frequently or drink liquid foods or drinks that could help soften your stool, you are more likely to have um, power because the physis will actually push out your anus. Also, if we don't eat a food that's high in fiber, for example, wheat that is high in fiber that can help to ease digestion. That's another cause. If we are overweight, that can also cause um, pile. And also lifting heavy objects. 90% of muscle building, male and female, suffer from pile or hemorrhoids. So, what's the treatment? How can we treat pile or hemorrhoids? When it comes to the treatment of pile or hemorrhoids, the first is we take hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone will help to relieve you of the pain that you're feeling around your anus. Hydrocortisone or lidocaine. I'll put the name down at the bottom so you can see. You can take this to relieve yourself of the pain. Next point, you take a lot of fruits that contain digestive juice like mango, purple, orange that will help to facilitate digestion. The third point, eat a lot of fruit, uh, food that have got fiber. Lenticel, beans, there are a lot. So you read what you are, what you're able to afford. Vegetables, uh, cabbage, uh, lettuce, huckleberries, depending on your diet. Make sure you incorporate foods high in fiber in your diet. That will help you. Now, if you're overweight, make sure you lose weight. Make sure you lose weight. And if you're pregnant and if you notice that you are beginning to experience these symptoms, like your anus is beginning to bulge out, make sure you drink a lot of water. Incorporate this juice and uh, a high fiber into your diet and you will be okay. The next point is get uh, laxatives. Take laxatives if you are very constipated. Laxatives that, that contain senna pots because these are more herbal. Senna pots is more herbal or it's more uh, natural than the other ingredients of uh, uh, that we find in other uh, laxative tea. So look for a tea that contains uh, senna pods and you'll be good because senna pods doesn't have as much side effects as the others. The next is you take a pain relief uh, medication or drug 
that could be ibuprofen, there's aspirin, there's a lot more, or Tylenol. But be careful. If you are prone to gastritis, gastric ulcers, peptic ulcers, stick with Tylenol. Don't take the others, because Tylenol is mostly for those who are very prone to peptic ulcers, gastric ulcers, or gastritis. Net point is don't sit down for too long, because your, if your anus is bulged out, it's very painful. Next point, when you go to stool, make sure you do not push, you do not use force to push out the physis. You take it gradually, you take it gradually, because if you use force to push out the physis, you actually wound your anus, form tears in your anus. Remember, your anus may be outside, or, or because it's bulged, it's bulged or swollen, it's very sensitive. You may increase the pain and cause tear around the anus. And when you cause tear around the anus, this may lead to infections. Next point is we should use wipes instead. Okay, I would like to say this. The best way to clean your bum, your anus, if you're having pile. I did a video on how to take care of our anus area and uh, to, around the anus area. So you, should, so you should check it out. It is best to wash your anus with water first and with some detergent, then you can use baby wipes to wipe your anus. This is because when your anus is bulging out, it's very difficult for the wipes to clean it properly. And also, if you're a male or female that has hair around the anus, you need it to be properly cleaned because when you get intimate with your spouse, that smell of feces is going to ooze out. It's going to come out. When you wear your underwear, you have feces that will touch your underwear. So we're trying to keep be hygienic. And also we should have seat baths. That means we actually enter a lavabo with warm water in it and we sit down naked. We make sure our, our anus is actually um, in contact with just warm water that it will help will help losing the tension around the anus and to prevent this make sure you don't keep uh, uh, um, uh, eating hard food to prevent pile let us drink a lot of water eat foods in high fiber fruit and food in high fiber and drink a lot of water this will help prevent pile because when we are constipated and when we want to send out feces, it stresses the anus and it, it makes the veins of the anus to, to, to get swollen or enlarged. And that is when we develop power. <laughs> if you have any questions concerning this topic, please do pop it down below. Until next time, I'm your favorite medical microbiologist, Gwendolyn Halley. Bye-bye.